Hey there guys, hello and welcome to the Divi Mobile overview video. My name is Roby and I'll be walking you through a high level overview of Divi Mobile as well as showing you how to download, install and activate the plugin. We're also going to get into disabling the cache for your site, so for sure definitely check out the documentation site for more specific details on Divi Mobile. But if you have any persistent or more complicated issues, for sure hit up our amazing support team. With that, let's not waste more time and get right into it. Alright, so to download and install the plugin, the first thing we need to do is head over to DiviEngine.com and log into our Divi Engine account. Once we're logged in, we're going to go to the My Downloads section on the left hand pane here, and then wait for that to load up. And then on this page, you're going to see all the products that you've purchased from Divi Engine, as well as a button in this column here on the right hand side to download it. We'll scroll down to Divi Mobile and download the plugin to a location that is easy for us to find in the next step when we go ahead and install the plugin. All right, so with the plugin downloaded, we have to go log into the back end of our Divi site. So once you're there, we're going to go to the plugin section and then click on Add New. Now when this part loads up, we're going to click on the Upload plugin at the top of the page because we'll be uploading the plugin we just downloaded and then choose the file. Now definitely go choose that file from where you saved it, the convenient location mentioned before, and just click on the open button. Once you've done that, click on install now. And we'll just wait here a second. And once that's installed, we're going to go ahead and activate the plugin. OK, so now that we've got our plugin downloaded, installed, and activated, it's time to add the license so that we can keep up to date with any updates that come out. To do that, if you don't have your license key handy, we're going to head back to the Divi Engine website. Now once you're logged in, you're going to hit the My Orders button in the left hand column. And then when you're on the next page, you'll see all the orders you've placed with Divi Engine. You're going to hit that Manage License button right there. Now what this is going to do, it's going to take us to a page that will list all the license keys that we've generated on our Divi Engine account. So on this page, you're going to scroll down to the bottom of the page to the key generator. Now what you need to do is click on that drop down box and go and select Divi Mobile from the list and hit that generate license key button. Once your license key is generated, just scroll to it, double click it to select it and copy it and then we'll head back to the back end of our Divi site. Okay, so back on the back end of our site, we're going to go ahead and hover over this new link Divi Engine on the left hand column and click on Divi Mobile license. Now all we need to do is paste our license key in there and hit the save button. Awesome, ready to go to the next step. Okay, so now that we've got Divi Mobile installed, activated, and we put the license key in there, it's time to take a look at the actual plugin. So when you're back on the back end of your Divi site, take a look on the left hand side here and you'll see a small Divi Engine menu. From there, you can navigate your way through two areas of Divi Mobile. The first part is a welcome page containing an introductory video from our founder Peter. You'll also find some links to support topics as well as contact forms where you can get in touch with us in case anything does come up. You can even submit some suggestions to us, so we'll definitely be looking out for those. Now the second one is the license page. We've already been there when we entered our license key, but it's good to know in case you want to revoke a license or change a license key if one was deleted on the Divi Engine site. Okay, so now that we've taken a look at the links added when we installed the plugin here on the left hand side, it's time to take a look at the heart and soul of Divi Mobile and that's not found over there. What we need to do to find the Divi Mobile specific settings is go to Appearance, then click on Customize here. Now once this customization screen has loaded up, you'll see the Divi Mobile link on the bottom on the left hand column and click on that. Now here's where you'll be building out your mobile menu using Divi Mobile. This area contains eight sections, each with a specific purpose. First up is the general settings, then the custom header, burger menu, inject layouts, menu style, submenu style, circle stretch down style, and bottom navigation style. In this video, I won't be going through each of these specifically and tell you how these sections work, but I wanted to let you know that they're here and where to find them. Please watch out the other tutorial videos that will show you on how to build your mobile menu using all of these awesome features. Okay, so now that we've taken a quick look at Divi Mobile and the various menu items that you'll find within the Divi Mobile settings, it's worth noting that it is important to disable caching while you're editing your Divi website. 
Now, caching is a great way of speeding up the internet and websites, but sometimes it creates a bit of a delay between changes being made on the site and them being reflected on the front end. And this is the reason we're going to be disabling the caching on the site. So the first thing we need to do is head over to the plugin section. Now, once there, we want to make sure that no caching plugins are enabled. We're using Breezier, so I'm going to deactivate that. Now, with that deactivated, the next step is to deactivate the Divi static CSS. Now, to deactivate that, all you need to do is go to Divi here on the left-hand side, go to Theme Options, go to Boulder, then Advanced, and slide that static CSS slider off. Make sure to save, and that will disable your static CSS, and you can enable all of these features again when we're done. Now, the last step is to also purge your browser cache. Now, I'm using Chrome, and for me, I go to the three dots here on the right-hand side, and with that expanded, I'm going to go to More Tools, and I'm going to click on this Clear Browsing Data button. And that's it. Okay, Divi Engine fam, I hope this quick overview of the Divi Mobile plugin was helpful. Now be sure to check out the documentation at help.diviengine.com to find the rest of the tutorial videos, as well as other helpful information that can help you build the best possible Divi Mobile websites. Thank you for watching, have a great day, and I'll definitely see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.